All right, guys, it's your boy. And today we're going to be talking about the little lies we all tell. So the word underrated, I feel, gets misused a lot, especially in anime in general, too. But basically, underrated simply it doesn't mean that something that's not popular or not many people know about it. Just because a lot of people don't know about it doesn't mean it's underrated. Underrated means that you believe the anime or the thing is actually better than the way people are viewing it regardless of the number of people that are seeing it so today we're gonna be talking about the little lies we all tell because this thing has uh, at least on my anime list it has a 6.81 so basically just like looking at it from a standard like grading pers uh, perspective that's like a D plus and I completely disagree I think this anime is great it's uh, keep to be fair to be fair there is only one episode out but out of all the anime this season this anime has in my opinion well it's my favorite first episode out of everything including things like uh spy x family including things like that this is my favorite first episode this show is so jokes i don't know why but just based on the title and the what's it called the image provided and what's it called a uh, short description on, on Crunchyroll I I saw it and I was like I feel like this thing has some uh, sinister dark vibes to it I don't know why but I just thought it was gonna be a dark anime so I wasn't gonna watch it but then the next day I was like you know what let me try it I watched it I was completely wrong this this anime is slice of life it's pure jokes it's super jokes it's great basically it's mid these middle school girls these four of them they all have a secret that they're keeping from each other and it's so over the top it's making fun of basically uh all these tropes uh, what, what did you call them tropes i'm not sure but like for example one of them is an alien pretending to be uh what's it called the student basically she got stranded and she's waiting for her comrades to come pick her up so she's like pretending to be a normal human another one is a ninja that was sent on a mission to assassinate the headmaster but basically they gave up and they were like you know what i just want to live a normal school life so but because she gave up and she's no longer a ninja her old village is sending assassins to basically try and kill her so she's hiding that from everybody the other one is actually a she's a psychic she had like experiments done on her so she can actually occasionally read people's minds so she kind of knows their secrets but she's not really keeping she's not really saying anything she's kind of like the straight man in anime everybody's making the jokes and being like so crazy and she's kind of like bringing everything back to reality it's like it's like i don't know how to explain it unless if you watch anime you'll know what i'm talking about she's a straight man and then the, the last girl she's actually a boy yeah it turns out um she has that he has a twin sister and the sister got accepted to this all-girls school but she wants to go to the all boys school because there's a guy she likes so she basically has switched with her brother her sister's crazy so he had no choice so now he's pretending to be a girl and so yeah so that's all four of them now they have some great voice actress the the first the, the character that can read minds her name is um what the hell is his name Sekini? Sekini? i don't know but her voice actress i'm clicking on it right now i'm checking out She's basically uh, Ochako from My Hero Academia. She's Yotsuba from uh, Quintessential Quintuplets. She's Aroha from uh, My Romantic Comedy. And personally, where is this? Because I'm looking at the list right now to see who else she voiced. But there's one specific character. She's Natsumi from arguably one of the best slice of light animes of all time. Non non biody like she like bro she's uh she has so many good roles it's actually insane her voice was, i remember i heard it and i'm like who is this person i've heard it. she's also solution from overlord i'm looking at this she's crazy <coughs> sorry i got uh what's it called cough from covid so i'm all better now but yeah she, i'm looking at this roster and she has a lot of good um uh, positions so yeah her voice was extremely memorable um then you have but yeah anyways so yeah all these characters they're super funny uh i like the personalities a lot it's crazy because when it comes to these joke animes and stuff like that making fun of them it's i feel like it's 
it's completely subjective because it's all comedy so i believe it's completely subjective if it's your taste in comedy then you'll probably enjoy it and if it's not then you're probably gonna hate it because it doesn't really let up it's it's jokes pretty much the entire way and this fits my uh it fits what i think is funny so it's super easy for me to see it like that to for me to enjoy it so while watching it i was pretty much convinced that because of the character type that they portray i was pretty much convinced that all right i'm really only gonna like while i was watching it like the first again this happens very quick so like in the first five minutes maybe less my favorite character was rika just because of the fact that she's an alien and she's literally just straight up an alien oh my god yeah so she's an alien pretending to be a human and the reason i said oh my god is because i clicked on her name here and i see that she actually plays uh rena from love live oh my god no wonder goaded she's automatically goaded but yeah this character rika rika if i can click on her she was already like i just like her appearance a lot i like the things she's going for it's oh man it's it's really good because she's purposely trying to portray like this like the, her archetype but she's obviously like a soldier or something like that from the alien from an alien race or something like that it's it's like two contrasting like her real personality and what she's trying to portray but it's like what she's trying to portray, portray is like making fun of like those types of characters and i think it's very i don't know I, I really liked it i thought she was super funny but as i was watching it characters like seeking the straight man don't really do it for me like they're not really that great or anything i prefer more characters that are uh i don't know more fun or anything like that but she, like i said i looked at her voice actress she's crazy and they got a great voice actress but on top of that she's actually what's it called uh very funny and um uh, then i like i said i just kept going through them and things like chiyo as well i wasn't very big on let's see who she was voice acting let's see oh my god they literally just got love live everywhere she plays I I by the way if you, uh, you probably don't know but I is my favorite character from Love Live uh Niji Kasaki 100% it's crazy is because I thought they were P, like oh yeah it's PDP it's like perfect dream project or something like that that's what people called them before but now it's like Niji Saki Niji Kasaki yeah so yeah that's all I know her she's great she's my favorite so man this this What's the Ross Subasa? So yeah, so she was the, the what's it called, the ninja. She's great because, like, her type is like super like. I can't explain it without really spoiling, but it's only one episode so far. But she's super, um, she's super like airheaded. She's kind of dumb, but she is the real deal because of her physical abilities in being a ninja. She, like, if you watch the episode, you're like. Yeah, in terms of physical abilities or anything, she'll take on everybody, 100%. She's the top dot. But because she has, like, no ill intent or anything like that, like, no seriousness to her, she's not really a threat. Rika, on the other hand, is indeed kind of a threat because of what you see. But she gets easily played by Chiyo. And as well, she easily gets played by uh, Sekini because she can read her mind. She knows exactly what she needs to do so everything goes smoothly. So... It's like everybody has like their own foils and then you have subasa who is actually a man but being played by a female character she wait what gone or gone oh my god <laughs> she plays Akko in little witch acad little witch academia is my favorite anime of all time it has the most it's the end little witch academia got me into anime so the fact that she oh my god she's in this anime this this roster is literally just perfect for me everybody is goaded in my opinion these four mains are goaded that's crazy that what i did not expect i got her Oh, man, I gotta rewatch some Little Witch Academia clips to see this. But I also didn't know that Gon's main, uh, what's called voice act voice actor, was actually an actress. Not, that's crazy. I know the same thing for Ash in English is true. But other than that, wait, huh? Amano is egg. What? I know this guy because um, 
Gamers is actually a pretty good show. I like that a lot. So I know who that is. Oh man, so, wow, they had a lot of roles, but yeah, Little Witch, Acad Little Witch Academia is my favorite. So seeing her there is crazy. But like I said, these characters all uh, kind of oh, watch there she is, three favorites. Yeah. So all these characters kind of uh, play off of each other. They all have like cool roles and stuff. It's fantastic. I thought the first episode was great. And like I said, this is all jokes. And because it's all jokes and comedy, if the comedy doesn't appeal to you, you don't think it's funny, then you're not re you're not going to enjoy this show. But yeah, so I think this anime is completely underrated because 6.81, yeah, I definitely would. Again, this is only the first episode. I could be wrong, but my gut feeling is telling me that I'm going to enjoy this show a lot. That I'm actually going to enjoy this show a lot. There's another anime that I'm going to make a video talking about uh, after the third episode because I also think it's it's actually I think it's a hidden gem, kind of like Super Cup was the hidden gem of that season. There's another anime that I believe is going to be the hidden gem of this season. But this, on the other hand, I can see why people wouldn't like this for sure. But personally, fits my alley very very much. I like this a lot. It's all jokes. It's something like Dropkick on My Devil. It's like some, yeah, it's like some dropkick on my devil, but not as violent, but it's as, it's kind of as jokes, you know? And like I said, the, the voice actresses just killed it. Like, they're going in, they're good, they're good. I think my favorite as of right now is Rika, followed by Sikine, then Tsubasa, then Chio. But honestly, they all fit pretty well. Like I said, Chio really impressed me with her ability uh, towards the end, trust me. Rika is just super funny. I love like big contrast between her real personality and this persona she's trying to portray. And it, the, another thing that happens is that this kind of makes some logical sense. Like this isn't just like random shit thrown in, uh, like these backstories. They kind of work together in a way that prevents them from, or prevents the their secrets from leaking out, their lies. Basically, there's there's a way their lies actually work. There's a reason why Sikine, the one who can read people's minds only can only knows uh what's it called well i spoiled one of them but you find out the show literally explains it but she can only read the minds of rika and shio but she can't read subasana so she knows this that she is actually uh what's called a ninja she knows that rika is actually an alien but she can't read subasana so as far as she knows subasana is literally just a normal girl subasana is just trying to like get through life you know she's like He's just trying to enjoy his time there, having a good time. Rika is trying to portray this image and it's like waiting for her comrades to come get her. Chiyo is also just living her life, but is obviously fending off um, her things. But she ain't got to worry because she could take on everybody, 100%. Her instincts literally kick in in the first episode and you see what's good. You see what's good. The introduction of this anime is like the beginning of Suicide Squad, but not as long, not as drawn out. It's very short, concise. It's good. I like this show. I like this first episode a lot. I think it's the best first episode out of all the anime this season. Granted, I haven't actually watched uh, Blue Lock yet, which is um, a soccer anime. My friend told me to watch it. Uh, the premise sounds cool. I'm going to check it out. I'll probably make a video. It's, so maybe that first episode will do better. By the way, I have not seen Chainsaw Man. I don't plan to, so if you're saying the first episode of Chainsaw Man is better... I'm not going to argue with you because I haven't seen it. And I don't argue about things I don't see, you know? That's one of the things that bothers me is that when people talk shit about something and they're like, yeah, they've only seen the first episode. Or worse, they haven't even seen the show at all, but they have to talk shit about it. It's like, what? I like to watch the entire thing and then talk shit about it. So when I talk shit about something, it's because I watched the whole thing. And, you know, that's how it is. So, yeah. Um, I'd say give it, I'll give this a try if you like comedies and... If you don't like the first episode, you probably won't like the rest. Maybe at the end of the season, I will make a comment saying whether or not things are true. Maybe I'll make another video if something else different happens. But it seems it seems very good. I am very excited to see more of this. I can see this show being one of the ones where I either where I watch it daily and I don't let it back up. There's a lot of anime that I let back up and I have to watch a lot. Like for example, uh, The Devil's a Part Timer. I'm pretty behind on that. I'm, five episodes behind i have to catch up it's already over i know but <laughs> i let it pile up this i can see myself watching it as well as another one that i will talk about but yeah and spy x family of course and spy x family you can't do anything about that spice family you have to watch it every week so yeah hope you guys enjoyed 
and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.